the rules for multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions are just the same as for ordinary fractions. So we'll start with a few examples of these. 2 thirds times 5 ninths, we just multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. So 2 times 5 is 10 and 3 times 9 is 27. And for division, we just turn the second fraction upside down and then multiply. So 5 ninths divided by 4 ninths is 5 ninths times 9 over 4, turning the second one uh, upside down, and then we multiply. So we get 45 over 36, and that simplifies down to 5 over 4. And actually, if you notice there was a 9 here and here before you multiplied, you may not have had to do this step in between. You might have just seen that the 9s were going to cancel top and bottom eventually and left the answer as 5 over 4. And we'll try and do the same sort of thing if we can with algebraic fractions to make things easier. Uh, a couple of uh, slight special cases, I suppose, then. So 6 divided by 6 elevenths. Well, um, you could think of a, an integer, a whole number like 6, as just sort of 6 over 1, if you like, and then apply the same rule. So we get 6 over 1 times uh, 11 over 6. And actually here, again, we can see that the 6s are going to cancel. Uh, and so that'll just leave 11 over 1. Uh, and again, remember, we don't leave it like that. We would always write that as 11. And finally, 6 elevenths divided by 6. Again, if we thought of that 6 as 6 over 1, we would turn it upside down and multiply. And again, we're going to get the 6's cancelling here, so that would be 1 eleventh. Um, so that's actually the, the same as 6 uh, 66th, then, if you wanted to put that intermediary step in. And what we can see is if we just divide a fraction by a whole number, that's just the same as multiplying the denominator by that number, because we multiply by one-sixth, it's reciprocal. Six and one-sixth are, are the reciprocals of each other. So let's do some algebraic examples then. 3 over x times x over 6, we just multiply the numerators to get 3x, and multiply the denominators to get 6x, and now we'll always leave it in its simplest form, so we'll cancel an x and cancel a factor of 3 just to leave one-half. It's no different if we've got uh, three fractions. Here, we're going to multiply all the numerators and all the denominators, so we'd end up with A, B, C, and on the bottom we'd have B, C, A. And in fact, A, B, and C all cancel top and bottom here, just to leave uh, 1 over 1, or 1. As with ordinary fractions, if we can spot things that are going to cancel before we do it, it can make life easier. So here, actually, we might just notice straight away that the x's are going to cancel uh, once they're multiplied uh, together, because one's in the numerator and one's in the denominator, and it's, a, and it's a multiplication here. So I might just now jump to saying straight away, that's 3 over x plus 2, and we don't need to put in those intermediary steps. Um, same thing here as for the previous examples. We've got x divided by 3 over x, so we'll turn the second one uh, upside down and multiply. And you know, if you want to, you think of x as x over 1, uh, and then see that this is x squared over 3. Next one here, 3 over x divided by x. Again, we saw that when you divide um, a fraction by something that just multiplies uh, the denominator by it, or you could think of it as being 3 over x times 1 over x, if you like, and that gives us 3 over x squared. Another example here is division, so I'm going to turn the second one upside down and multiply and multiplying them together we get uh, x times x plus 2 over 5 times x minus 2 and it's really important when we do these to keep them in brackets because it's x times all of x plus 2. If we didn't have these brackets in here then we might end up uh, making mistakes so like here if we didn't have the brackets 5x minus 2 is different from 5 brackets x minus 2 uh, which would multiply out to 5x minus 10 so be careful with that. If in doubt, put brackets in. We can always think of the numerator and denominator of a fraction uh, in brackets. It's a bit silly to put like x and 5 in brackets, but putting x minus 2 and x plus 2 in brackets uh, is fine. If that helps you uh, not make mistakes, then do that. So here in multiplication, 1 times 4x plus 4, well that's just 4x plus 4. And on the denominator we get x plus 1 times x minus 4. Again, all in brackets like that. Um, if it doesn't obviously cancel top and bottom. Remember, we could try and factorise something. Uh, so here, if we factorise the numerator, that becomes 4x plus 1, and the denominator is still x plus 1 times x minus 4, so we see we have actually got a factor of x plus 1 we can cancel here to leave 4 divided by x minus 4.
We're going to look at some harder ones now. So um, this one's a division, so we first just notice that this is the same as x squared minus 9 divided by x plus 3. Turn the second one upside down and multiply, uh, so you get that. And now, uh, if we try and factorize anything that we can uh, and multiply them together, so uh, this one here, x squared minus 9, is uh, x plus 3 times x minus 3, the difference of two squares, um, and divide that by x plus 3. We've got multiplied by, well, this is 3 times uh, x plus 2 over x minus 3. You can see in this fraction here, the factor of x plus 3 cancels. And when we multiply these together, um, we'll have all of this multiplied to, all the numerators multiplied together. So we can see we're actually going to get this factor of x minus 3 cancelling with this one as well. Uh, so we can write that as 3 times x plus 2. This example looks really complicated then. We've got quadratics all over the place and uh, but it's a multiplication so we don't need to turn the second one upside down here. Uh, the key again here is to try and factorize everything uh, and then see what uh, cancels and if we can do that before we multiply everything together that will be a lot easier if we start trying to multiply these together and multiply them out or something we're going to get a, little, a big mess. So if we can find the factors as soon as possible then that will be helpful. So x squared plus 7x plus 10 is uh, factorizes as x plus 2 times x plus 5. x squared minus 4 is the difference of two squares. That's x plus 2 times x minus 2. And in the other fraction, we've got 3x squared minus 15x. Here, it's not a, it's a quadratic, but it's not a hard quadratic like uh, to factorize like these ones. It's just got a common factor of x and also a common factor of 3. So it's 3x times x minus 5 and another difference of two squares on the bottom here, so x plus 5 times x minus 5. And so if we multiply these together, what we're going to get is 3x times x minus 5 times x plus 2 times x plus 5 on the top. It doesn't matter which order we wrote those down in, but I did want to put that 3x at the, fr at the front outside the brackets. Um, and on the bottom we've got x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 5 times x minus 5, and now we just look and see what cancels. So we've got a factor of x minus 5 top and bottom, we've got a factor of x plus 5 top and bottom, and we've got a factor of x plus 2 top and bottom, so we can divide a uh, numerator and denominator by each of those, and leave just uh, 3x on the top and x minus 2 on the bottom. And one last example here, again loads of factorizing to do, this time we've got a division as well, uh, so uh, let's deal with the division bit first, so it's x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x squared minus 2x minus 3 times, turning the second one upside down, and we've got 2x plus 4 over x squared minus 4. So we just need to factorize this as much as possible. So uh, this one here, x squared minus 4x plus 4, you might recognize that that's x minus 2 squared. Uh, and let me write that as x minus 2 times x minus 2. And on the bottom here, we've got something that factorizes to give uh, x minus 3 times x plus 1. And this one, uh, this is 2x plus 2. And we've got on the bottom here, x plus 2 times x minus 2. So actually when we multiply these together, uh, they just give us one big fraction here with all of these things uh, multiplied together. So let's look at what cancels. We've got x minus 2 and x minus 2, uh, we've got an x plus 2 and an x plus 2, and that looks to be it. So the final answer here then is 2x minus 2 divided by x minus 3, x plus 1. So fairly complicated example there, but we're doing the same thing as all the other ones. If it's a division, we turn the second one upside down and multiply, uh, and we factorize everything and see if we can uh, find any common uh, factors top and bottom to cancel out.